We're back! Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Yo, yo! <coughs> Season 2 of The Simpsons. Excellent. And we're kicking it off with a really, really good episode. Bart gets an F. A superb episode. It is. It's better than the... You could swap the entirety of Season <laughs> 1 for this episode. It's that I'm good. This year. The, uh, the, the step up in writing. Jokes. Ambition. Ambition. Empathy for the, the characters. Anima yeah, empathy. <laughs> the animation. Yeah. Um, everything. Everything. If you've not watched it for several years, basically all that happens is that Bart is failing at school. He has a big test to do and he worries about failing it. Very simple story. That's basically it in a nutshell, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, there's no B story in this one. No it's, B story at all. It's just uh, Bart struggling through yeah. uh, the school system. Is that there? Um, pretty good to kick off the second season with one based around Bart, who was the um, who they, who was like the kickoff character of the yeah, first one. Yeah. They built a lot of the first season around him as well. Yeah. Um, so it's almost a way of saying this is how we're gonna do it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is this is an, a new beginning. Yeah. Kind of. Well, as um, same style as the first one in a way, realistic storyline. Characters reappear from the first season a lot, <laughs> including the ever popular Bleeding Gums Murphy. Yeah. <laughs> The car dealer guy. The car dealer who uh, was voiced by Albert Brooks but doesn't actually talk in this one. Yeah. You also get... Um, Sideshow Bob. Sideshow Bob. He was arrested, now he's not. Hey, hey, hey. what's happening? Hey, hey. And you also have um, the teacher who was in Bart the Genius. Oh, yeah, like the, the counsellor. Yeah, this is almost a companion piece to Bart the Genius. Same sort of storyline. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this one is just leagues ahead. <laughs> it, it, it ekes out the story a bit more. Exactly. Like Bart's... The situation that he's in is, is like a believable one for a kid. Yeah. You know, like if you're kind of like uh, underperforming as a kid and <clears throat> you have that serious conversation with your parents and your teacher and it feels like a real situation. Yeah. I think Bart's reaction is really good where it's kind of like, yeah, okay, you know, I, I admit it, let's not be around the bush, you know, I'm, I'm dumb, you know, dumb as a doorno. Dumb, yeah. Doll Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Beautiful ending and all where he starts crying and um, yeah. then he applies the knowledge. Yeah, he applies the knowledge. Yeah, and gets and passes. He does everything he can do to kind of... And it's funny as well. It's hilarious. It's really funny. It's like um, some brilliant jokes in it. Like he, he all, the one, all the bits featuring Martin. They're great, yeah. <laughs> like he does everything he can at first just to kind of teach and kind of yeah, learn. Yeah, to float, or what, float on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he wants to kind of do it by himself and then he kind of realises that I need something to help me and he gets Martin to help him in exchange for making Martin cool. Popular. Popular. Yeah. Yeah. A Bart-esque yeah. character. Yeah. Um, and the end, he ends up backfiring horribly because mine's like, oh, stuff this, you know, I'm popular now, whatever, see ya. <laughs> um, and so he struggles on. And then in a very poignant scene, um, Bart kind of prays. Praise to God. Praise to God that uh, it's, you know, something's going to happen, so he gets one extra day to yeah. study for the big test. And as Lisa says, it's the last refuge of the scoundrel prayer. Yeah. Um, but it actually works. It, well, does, it works really well. Obviously ambiguous in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who wouldn't just have God go? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, and, uh, it snows and I, I, I think what sells it is Lisa's line, where she's like, you know, I'm, I'm no theologian. I've got no idea what God is, but let's say God does exist. He's yeah. more powerful than mum and dad combined. So you better do it. And it does it in realistic terms. Yeah, like yeah. A comparison yeah. that she would make mum and dad rather than yeah, yeah, a higher authority figure. Yeah, yeah. Um, Who would in their world? Yeah, mum and dad is like the. But that's the little touches of writing that yeah, really make yeah. it pop rather that's than the That's true. <laughs> yeah. Makes it feel a bit more like personal. Yeah, well, it's just getting. It actually feels like they know the characters, the writers, yeah. and. Yeah. And like a Bart's little world makes sense here. He revolves around his family yeah. and his friends and his school. And yeah. well, basically, when all that comes under threat, that's, you know, you, you, you care, you know, you don't want to see Bart's little world yeah. you know, fall apart, basically. Yeah, um, mm. and you get more supporting characters in this, are well developed. Mrs. Krabappel, you get a good sense of. Uh, yeah, she's yeah. frustrated with him. <laughs> yeah, frustrated, but she's willing to kind of empathise and bend the rules a bit. Yeah, to to help him. She's not a heartless monster. No, no. But um, was Skinner in it actually? Oh, he was in it, but he wasn't a big. He's, um, he's got a little cameo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. 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 Yeah, he gets a cameo because he's um, when they're all playing out in the snow. Yeah, he's holding but, back. Uh, the yeah. Skinner role, as it would be in later ones, is played by that um, teacher. Yeah, um, the, the, the counselor. Yeah, the counselor. Yeah, the, the counselor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The counselor. The counselor. <laughs> Truth has no temperature. I knew you'd say that. Yes. <laughs> Classic line. Classic line. 
but yeah, um, really, really, just it's so much stronger in every aspect. So um, yeah, the step up is amazing. Yeah, the step up is felt on it, like, every level. I mean, it even it was nineteen ninety this uh, premiere. Yeah, yeah. It's not even been a full year since the season one and uh, um, finished, and they're already just miles ahead. Yeah, they feel like they're really developing. Yeah. In fact, it was um, the nostalgia critic. Yeah, yeah. A popular internet guy yeah. voted this is the best Simpsons episode. He's crazy. Yeah, I know, yeah. This is brilliant, but it even wouldn't even be in my top 50, I don't think. No. It's probably enough to get into 100. As like a placement in the show's history, it's a crucial episode. It is important. It's one. when it finds its fit footing, you know, the animation gets normal. Homer's <laughs> voice is normal. Yeah. Um, oh, it's not like that. It doesn't sound like this anymore. It the old ones where it'd be like, the mouse would always be like that. <laughs> Um, so no, it, it's getting to the rhythm a bit more. It's, yes, it's a classic episode, and it's if you've not seen it, it's a knockout. It is a knockout. Knockout, easy. One, one of the room. most iconic. Um, well, not iconic. Um, it's a well-known one. It's very well. A lot I, I of them. Um, what surprised me was the amount of dream sequences. Oh and yeah. Colorways. Yeah. I mean, they're all brilliant in it. Yeah. Um, and all, even them slightly more whimsical tone. When they've got the, um, when it snows, where it does the brilliant, who spends two minutes around the town. Yeah, going around react. it, yeah. yeah. What I like about this episode is, is uh, it feels packed. Yeah. It's packed, like, it feels longer than it is, I think. In, in the best in way. In a good way, yeah. In a good way, it feels like, a, like you're satisfied. Like, yeah. Jesus, that was 20 minutes. You know, it packs so much plot and character moments in there and humour and yeah. um, heart. It's got heart. That's what I was thinking. The main step up, I think, is the level of, like, um, everyone in it has got, like, a well-developed character. Yeah. And it actually takes Bart's problem seriously. Yeah, yeah. And treats him like a proper, um, like, they have em empathy for him and uh, you're meant to feel sympathetic towards him rather than the school teachers. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He yeah. clearly suffers from some form of um, ADD or something. Yeah, he does. Where definitely. he can't concentrate. Yeah. So it's sympathetically rendered his plight. And so he tries his absolute best. And, yeah. it, and in the end, he you ends know, up working. Yeah, yeah he, he tried his best. Yeah. And that's all that we can ask of him. Exactly. Which is a sweet message. He's got a nice message, not like the repellent one of some of the season one ones. Yeah, oh God, no. Homer's night out. Women? <laughs> They're good as long as they don't show their bodies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh God, I forgot about that. I. I Put that on the memory. Yeah, so we're we'll leaving behind season one as much as possible. Yeah, this one is such a step up in terms of quality. Yeah. Yeah, so I hadn't seen season two for ages or any of the episode for ages. What a brilliant uh, reintroduction this was. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Marvelous so this, second season. Yes, yeah, season two is one I'm, I'm pretty familiar with, and it's. Yeah. It's pretty. I, yeah. I'm, yeah. A, I'm more into the. Um, Sort of five to seven. Mm, but, uh, or eight even would be where I'm acquainted with. Uh, I'm a. Uh, yeah. I mostly know two to like six. Two to six. Two to six. Seven mine. and eight of amazing episodes. Oh, seven and eight I think are great, but yeah, well, they're, they're brilliant. But they're my favourites. Are in yeah, yeah. especially season three and four. I think they're my favourites. But yeah. we'll get to them later. Oh, this um, is the kick off to it. Yeah. So, season two, episode one. Um, what would you give it on a scale of uh, from one to ten? I would give it. I'm gonna go for a. A low nine. A low nine. <laughs> a nine. Yeah. I'm going to give it nine winter miracles out of ten. Nine winter miracles. I'm going to give it uh, not an F, an A minus. Oh. Ah, you see what I did there? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's brilliant. The only. Would you say there's any issues with it? We've pretty much praised it from beginning to end. <sighs> I don't. Personally, I don't think there is. I think the only thing that holds it back a little bit is just. Knowledge of where it would go further. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. I think at the time, if you saw this as, like, the opening episode, you know, be like, holy shit, it's, what, what is this? Yeah. Its main problems are it's not as ambitious and doesn't do as much as later ones. But yeah. But it is hard to hold that against it. It is, exactly, yeah. I, I, it's... It's still sharpening the tools, yeah. I think, you know. I think it could be a little bit sharper yeah. in some places, but note, note that you would, like, be bothered about. No, ultimately, the... Kind of issues that have are just a bit tiny. Exactly, and you got to save the tens for some perfect ones. Yeah, so no, I, I think a nine's fair. Bart gets an F. Go watch it, kids.